Welcome to some pro tips with Starfield. In this video, we're just going to go over all the different ways that you can capture smuggler ships. Those are those bloody ships that land and will say you're not authorized to fly. There's many ways to get around message of not authorized. In this video, we're just going to go through all the different ways you can tackle the smuggler ships, which applies to all the ships that land and have smugglers. So just in case you don't know, the smugglers are the guys that give you items and you're meant to take it to another place. These are just going to be the different methods and how you can take smuggler ships. And it's just bits and pieces from different videos I've made. I just thought I'd put it in one location just so everyone knows the different ways you can tackle this situation. Keep in mind, it applies to every ship you find that is a smuggler ship. Please consider liking and subscribing if you get anything out of this. Hope you enjoy. Peace. So the first method we're going to look at is the peaceful method. This means there'll be no bounties. You won't have to kill anyone. And if you're playing a peaceful character or you're aligned with the freestyle rangers or for whatever reason you don't want to use the other methods, this is probably the easiest, quickest and safest method. The more likely scenario will be to run into the smugglers. So there'll be no one outside the ship. If there's no one outside the ship, make sure you drop down an outpost. That's one of the first things I did once I realized you can do it before or after entering the ship and taking the item from their captain. So you'll get onto the Renegade 3, you'll find the cockpit, talk to the captain. And the best way to do this is just to say, is to lie and say that you're late and that you will get the items from the captain. Now what we need to do, which is really important this step, is to travel to a different planet or moon within the same system. And then since we build an outpost, we can travel straight back to the outpost, which will be much closer than our ship landed. And then we can waltz on in to the Renegade 3 and it'll be completely empty and we can steal it with no issues, no worries, and you don't have to kill anyone. There's no bounties. And it's just being about a boom, it's yours. Now, next method we're going to look at is the revenge kill method. This method is interesting because you enter dialogue in such a way that it causes the smugglers to attack you, which in most cases will let you avoid any bounties as it's self-defense. You'll still have to fly to another planet and come back and the ship will be yours, but it's another method that you can steal the smuggler ships. So we won't focus too much on that. We're going to focus on the second scenario and that's where this tutorial will help because that's the main one that i come across and it's probably the same for you before we get on to scenario two a really good tip is just to always save your game or before you get near the ship just so you can always come back to that point now scenario two for the auto barn one two or three is when it lands there'll be no crew outside so if you see that there's no crew outside that means it's going to be a smuggler ship usually a freestyle version in that scenario you can walk straight onto the auto barn you'll notice that there's crew members around and what we want to do is we do not want to kill anyone or shoot anyone. We want to go up to the cockpit and talk to the captain. What we're going to do here is we're going to talk to the captain in a way that is going to make the NPCs attack us. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, there's two dialogue paths that you can pick. You can initially go, I think you've got me mistaken from someone else the first time. You'll say, get off my ship. And then once you talk to her again, he's basically going to say, are you ready to take the package? And then that's when you say, you've got the wrong person and that will trigger her to attack you. So the second dialogue part is you talk to the captain, you choose one of the lie options. It doesn't matter either. The lie options are fine. And then when you get the next chance, you say, actually, you've got the wrong person. And again, that will cause her to say they're going to have to kill you. And then all the NPCs will attack you, which means no bounty. So by doing it this way and getting the MPs, NPCs to attack you, you won't get any bounty. And what I do to double make sure that I don't get any bounties is every now and then you might get the odd bounty when the NPCs are running away cowering is I always make sure that the NPCs attack me first and then I'll take them down. That way I never get a bounty. I also stay away from using guns with annihilator rounds just in case. And once you've done that, so you, you've let the crew attack you, you've killed the whole crew, we'll go up to the pilot seat and we still won't be able to fly the bloody thing. But that's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to run outside we're going to chuck down an outpost and then we're going to quickly travel to another planet or moon within the same system. And then we're going to travel back to our outpost, come back onto the autobahn. And if it's work, we won't see any bodies on the autobahn. So the crew we just destroyed, they won't be on the autobahn anymore. Now, technically, you don't need to drop an outpost. You can just land where you originally land if you're close by to the autobahn ship. But if you're in a tricky spot, if you can't get back to your ship's landing zone easily, just drop an outpost. This will make it easier. Now, one of the most common problems you're going to find is that you think you've killed all the crew, but the crew members are not all dead. So you're going to return and you're going to see that there's some bodies on the ground. You know now that it has not worked and there's still a crew member around. So somehow this guy evaded me completely, but uh, I was able to take him out. But now I'm very sure that there's no crew members left on this ship at all. So I'm going to fly to another planet or moon within the same system. And then I'm going to travel right back to this location where the ship is. And then I'll have no problems 
piloting this ship. The other thing that can happen is you've just dropped down your belt post, you've gone to another planet or moon in the same system, you've come back and the bodies are still there. That's fine. All you need to do is just repeat that same process. Visit another moon or planet within the same system. You can even go to an outside system and then come right back and head back to the ship and the bodies will be gone. And the last issue you'll encounter is if you come back to your outpost and the ship looks like this, <laughs> like it hasn't rendered in properly, you're going to have a bad time. You probably won't be able to access this ship. You can try reload by going to another planet or moon, coming back. The ship will be in its better fall form. It will render correctly, but then the ship becomes inaccessible. You'll go up to the door and it'll say this ship's inaccessible. So there are some scenarios where you won't be able to come back and actually access the ship. And this is the one I found. Otherwise, that covers it. The third and final method we're going to cover is going postal method. This is just the simplest method where you just run and gun, annihilate everyone in order to capture the ship. But there are some redundancies and issues with this method, but it's still worth knowing how it works. So in a high level summary, it's really easy to actually take over quest ships. Once you find a quest ship, you clear all the crew out and you really want to make sure that the crew's gone. So sometimes it's worth double checking. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your map. You want to fly to any other moon or planet within the same system. And then as soon as you get to that screen where you can see the new planet or moon, you then jump straight back to the planet where you found the ship, the same location, and you can land straight there straight away, come back to that exact location. And generally all the bodies should be gone. You should be able to walk up to the pilot seat and capture it. And that's how you take a quest ship. But what I want to go through is I want to go through a bit more of a technical explanation just to cover some of the bases because you will find yourself in certain situations where you might not be able to find the ship again or it didn't work the first time. So we'll walk you through some of the different cases and scenarios just to make sure we can capture any quest ship that we find. And quickly, what is a quest ship? A quest ship is just one of these ships that will land on any planet moon that you come across. We'll have a crew will generally be smugglers and you can't take their ship because it's considered a quest ship because you interact with the captain and that ship belongs to that captain. That captain generally gives you some items to go and take to someone else in the system. I've never actually done that part of it. Let me know if you have. But basically, this is what you call a quest ship because the captain will give you a quest to smuggle some items somewhere. Now, one of the most common problems you're going to find is that you think you've killed all the crew, but the crew members are not all dead. So you're going to return and you're going to see that there's some bodies on the ground. You know now that it has not worked and there's still a crew member around. So somehow this guy evaded me completely but uh, I was able to take him out. And now I'm very sure that there's no crew members left on this ship at all. So I'm going to fly to another planet or moon within the same system. And then I'm going to travel right back to this location where the ship is. And then I'll have no problems piloting this ship. And the ship is ours. And that's again, how you can capture a quest ship with no worries. Now, if you've done all this and you're still finding that a bodies are on the ship and you can't pilot the ship, I suggest leaving the whole system. So fly to the closest system to any planet moon orbit and then come straight back to the same location you found the ship ship should still be there and you should be able to capture the ship now if that doesn't work make sure that you have the correct piloting class to capture the ship because that should be the only thing preventing you from taking the ship right now but now i'm going to go through some more of the technical situations that you'll find yourself in and how to get around them that you don't make some of the mistakes i did because you want to make sure that you can always get these ships regardless we're going to start off with the handy tip of building an outpost so it's easy to return to the ship so what you might find is that in certain situations, you've landed on a moon or planet so many times, you can't actually get new landing location icons to display. It only seems to have three or four as a limit on most planets or moons, which means returning to the location becomes impossible because you can never land at the same place twice without having a landing icon on that planet or moon. So what I suggest you do in this scenario, if you can't, be sure that you can get back to the exact location is I want you to build an outpost as close as possible to the ship that you're trying to take. So here's an example. So originally in this situation, I killed all the crew and then I traveled to another planet's orbit. Then I came back and then I was trying to find the location I landed because the icon of where I originally landed was no longer on the moon. So I couldn't actually get back to this ship. So originally I took this ship and then I tried to return but I couldn't find the location, so I was completely stuffed. I couldn't get back to the location, so the ship's not there. There was no longer any means to capture the ship because I could not get back to the location. So what I did is I loaded to a previous save where I knew I was just in front of the ship. I dropped an outpost there. Now, obviously keep in mind to drop down outposts on more extreme environments, you will need to level up your planetary habitation science skill. 
So keep that in mind. So I've dropped the outpost. And now I can clear the ship, clear the crew, double check the ship's got no crew left. Then I fly to another planet or moon's orbit within that same system. Come straight back to the outpost, walk into the ship, there's no bodies around. And bing bada boom, I can now pilot the ship with no worries.